Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T. And I'm back, you guys, for a haul video. Yes, the videos that people love, hauls. <laughs> uh, I said I wouldn't, uh, but I, I couldn't, so I did. <laughs> I said I wouldn't haul, but I couldn't resist, and I did haul. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys uh, sit back, grab something to eat, something to drink, and relax. And you might want to get a pen and, pen and paper because you might want to pick up some things, but I'm not enabling. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you may want to. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I want to start with uh, a thank you to all of my subscribers new and existing i appreciate you all so much i'm almost at six thousand subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you um now we're going to get into the fun stuff now the first set of the first uh things i'm going to share with you that i have are um actually uh non-coloring stuff like diamond painting crafts th different things like that so the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this beautiful, beautiful diamond painting pen. It is made out of wood. And this is from Jim Jim's Handmade Pen Shop on Etsy. Isn't this beautiful? Love this. It's a gorgeous pen. Um, and I had to wait a while for it because it's, you know, it's um, custom. So this is a custom made wooden hand. Um, wooden uh, pen, diamond painting pen, and I are I changed out the plastic um, tips for stainless steel because I just like the way it looks. It looks very nice and uh, classy. So yes, very nice, guys. And look, it's pink. When I saw that, I was like, yes, I gotta have that one. And it came in this nice little velvet bag to protect it. And so yes, beautiful. The next item I picked up was from another small shop on Etsy. Let's see, NYX Notions. So I ordered, I was so tired of using a small tray for diamond painting. So I went on NYX Notions, you guys can see that or not, and I ordered this, it's called The Beast. And basically it's a larger, uh, tray you slide that the cover slides on and off and look at that. It's huge. It's um, You can fit a lot more diamonds in here. Let me see if I can find a normal no, I don't have any around here. So but this is nice and of course guys it's pink and So I got that it has the stopper so you can pour your gem, your gems out and then you can also stop it excuse me to uh, Keep the gems in while you're shaking it, and then you have a cover when you're not in, it's not in use. And apparently, these are guaranteed that your diamonds won't fall off, fall out of here if you tip it over. So, because of the way the locking system works. So, yes, they also sent some goodies with the um, they sent some washi tape, really pretty. Look at that, it's so pretty with hearts on it. They sent a cover minder of a, uh, well they taped it shut. I'm not gonna open it. It's um, a seashell, it's really pretty, look at that. They also sent a um, extra, a free gift and an extra plug or stopper for my uh, tray. If I lose the other one, I have a backup. They also sent some tea, which is really nice because I like tea. And what else do we have in here? I think some stickers. I guess some information about some of their other items they have, another sticker. Some samples of their diamond painting sparklers. This one's called Frost. Hmm. And then a thank you note. So this is the name of the shop, NYX Notions. And I really, really enjoyed opening that and seeing how beautiful my tray was. I'm so excited to get to use it. I have not used it yet because I wanted to sh show you guys first. That's just my that's just my thing. I wanna share first before I use. So yes, the beast, love it. 
Can't wait to use it. All right, next, um, I was over at Ollie's and I found this um, from a grandfather's heart, memories for my grandchild. And I thought this would be nice for my dad to do for my, my sons. And basically, you know, it just has information about him that he can share in a book form um, so that my children, you know, can have something to look at as a, you know, you know, as a, uh, as a, a memory type of book. This would be like a memory book. So I like this. My life as a kid, my bedtime, my wake up time, my chores. I was always doing this during my lifetime and things like that. I think this is so nice. I think it was like $2.99. So I'm going to be giving that to my dad uh, to do for my sons. And that is from a grandfather's heart memories for my grandchild. Next, you guys, I was at Hobby Lobby. And look what I found. You guys, I love puzzles. Love, love puzzles. It was reduced to $3.24. And it was regular $12.99. This is a thousand pieces. It's the classic fairy tales of Aladdin. I love it. I could not believe this was, <laughs> was on sale. So I picked this up. It's by Masterpieces Incorporated. So very nice puzzle. And the last item that's not coloring. Well, there's some other items, but that's uh, that I hauled myself are these bins oh my gosh when I saw these at the Dollar Tree I was like oh they're getting some really nice bins so if they snap on the edge here it's pink they had gray ones and it's pretty deep and I got these to better organize some of my diamond painting stuff so I picked up two of those they were $1.25 a piece for the top and bottoms all right, next, um, at my church, we do Secret Sister. And what that is, is that uh, you're, you're, the beginning of the term that we're gonna do, you do, you pull somebody, you pull a name or you're assigned the name of one of the ladies from the church. And there's a list of things that they like with some questions we had to answer. And what you do is, every, what we do is every fourth Sunday, we, uh, give a gift to our secret sister but you don't give it to them directly we have the special table set up where you just drop your gift off like secretly I haven't been doing it I've been asking uh, I've been asking my little one to do it uh, <laughs> to go take the gift over to the table and then they go to the table and look just find their bag and they take it you don't say who you are you just buy them little gifts and there is like a spending cap of I think $15 so my secret sister um, has been giving me, giving me some really nice items. I've gotten a gift card for Michael's, which I was able to get my craft mates, uh, um, diamond painting, um, storage case. Um, she's treated me to lunch at, um, Olive Garden. And so some of the, the newer, the things that she's sent me or given me is this beautiful, um, she put my name on this. I don't know who it is, but she put my name on this. And it's a candle, it smells delicious, apple and cilantro. And with this, she gave me um, this, um, it matches guys, look at this color coordination. I was like, yes, this is so me. Um, so she got me this journal and she has my initials here inside. So I was like, this is really nice. So that's one of the uh, gifts, another one of the gifts I received from my secret sister. I love it. And uh, this past, uh, so this was the newest one. Okay, so this time she's gotten me some metallic colored pencils um, from the Fine Touch brand. And there's 12 of them in here. And then also this drawing pad. So this is eight by 10 and it has 148, so it's 95 pound, 48 pages of drawing paper so that I can draw. And then she also got me a keychain. Isn't this cute? Glam. I love stuff like this, y'all. Oh, I was like, thank you. It was so nice. So that was from my secret sister as well. I'm really loving secret sister. Um, I've been, you know, I'm into that kind of thing. So my secret sister, I'm like, like doing like 
really cute bags and <laughs> all kinds of stuff to put her gifts in. So um, thank you so much, Secret Sister. I don't know who you are. If you watch my videos, big hearts, thank you. <laughs> um, all right, the next items I received was from um, an anniversary exchange that we did in my um, adult coloring on a budget. And um, Richie Mitchell was the person who uh, picked my name. So it says, you are ridiculously amazing. I won't read the, the note, but it says, and incredibly awesome. And just saying happy uh, sixth anniversary in our um, adult coloring on a budget uh, Facebook group. So thank you so much, Richie. So I'm gonna share some of the things that she got me. All right, so non-coloring stuff. She got me this mug. He gives me strength, Psalms 23 and three. You can never have too many mugs. And of course, guys, she knows my favorite color is pink. So it's pink with pink flowers. It's really pretty, I love that. She also got me some tea, some Celestial Seasonings tea, which I love. And that is in the peach flavor, country peach passion. She also got me some magnetic bookmarks. I don't know if you know I was, I'm collecting these. Um, I've been trying to find them at the Dollar Tree and I didn't see these, so I'm glad that she found some Christian or faith-based ones for me. Um, she also got me this uh, notepad, just like for keeping notes, magnetic. You can put that in your refrigerator. Um, it says coffee please and it's in pink, of course. She also got me, um, this watercolor pad and this is 90 pound 50 sheets 90 pound 7 by 10 really nice uh, paper for watercoloring it's an artist loft brand she also got me this meaden porcelain artist paint palette and i'm gonna open this one i was like oh yes <laughs> Cause I use the plastic ones and I get really tired of using those cause um, they're harder to clean. So she got me this one. Let me clean my mess up just a second. All right, so I'm back. So this is a 17 well mixing tray and it's hand glazed and it's pure white, uh, pure white porcelain and stain resistant. So these are good because you can put all the colors and you won't ever have staining in your your palette. So I really like this. So thank you, Reggie. Thank you so much for that. I really wanted one of those and I'm glad I have one now. And next, she also got me this watercolor paint set by Artistro, 48 colors. You guys, this was on my wish list. It comes with um, some watercolor paper, which is 140 pound, seven by three inches. You get 10 sheets of those. And here is the watercolor set, it's 48 colors. And it comes in this cute pan. I have not done anything with it yet. Um, it has this, uh, let me get this off. Here is the, it's upside down. Here is the uh, colors, but it's colored over with its color chart. I like that idea so that I can just set this down here, right, and know the colors. You also get a color chart to um, put your actual paints on, which is cool. You get some, a pe uh, this is a drawing pencil, water brush, a regular water, uh, paint brush, eraser, you got your sponge and your sharpener and then 48 colors. And then we have metallics and neons in this one as well. I'm really excited to try these. Thank you so much, Richie. <laughs> this is so nice. And then it comes with this little sticker. I am creative, what's your superpower? Hashtag Artistro, that's so cute. Very, very cute. And it just locks this way. Very nice, very nice set. Can't wait to use it. Then she also got me this Worlds of Music. Let me zoom in. Worlds of Music um, by Demita Victoria, Grayscale Coloring Book. And uh, this one, I wasn't even aware this one existed, but I love music. This page is super cute. 
And so I thought this would be so nice to color in. I'm really interested in this book. I was like, wow, I didn't even know this one was even out. <laughs> but thank you so much, Richie, for the coloring book. That is nice. And the last but not least, Richie blessed me with this Autumn Breeze by Coco Wild. This was on my wish list. And <clears throat> I'm so happy to have this fall coloring book. I love the front page. That's the front page. There's some really nice fall leaves in here. Really nice coloring pages. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this one as well. So thank you so much, Richie. You're the best. All right, next I received um, a happy anniversary gift from my girl, Lavelia. She's one of my best friends. She got me the Ohuhu brush marker skin tone set. Hint, hint, she's trying to tell me something. <laughs> Practice your skin. <laughs> but yes, this is a brush marker. So you get the brush tip on one end and the other side is a chisel, which I like. So you don't really get the small, you know, the small tip. You get the brush tip and chisel, the broad and the brush. So this is, I believe, 48. I didn't even check. <laughs> Let me look. Um, 36, 36 colors. Oh, look at this, you even get, I didn't even see this yet. You get some blending tutorials in here. That's cool. You get one colorless blender and 36 colors. So yeah, there it is there, those are the colors. And then you get these blending tips here in the bag. That's cool. That's really cool. And it's telling you some other things here. No need to feel frustrated with the frayed tip. After all, the distance between you and the brand new tip is just a turning. Oh, cool. You just take it out and flip it over. That is so cool. Learn more about Ohuhu markers. You can go visit their website. That is so cool. I will definitely be taking those tutorial tips because <laughs> I need any tutorial tips I can get with markers. And then you have your blotter page uh, to use between your pages. It's like plastic or vinyl. So yes, thank you so much, Lavelia. Thank you so much. I think I was out of frame the whole time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yes, so that is the Ohuhu oh brush tip markers. Right. Next, I received some happy mail from the lovely Shonda in my Facebook group. I mean, Shonda, Sharonda. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. Sharonda from my Facebook group, an adult coloring on a budget. She's also in the Tease World of Adult Coloring. She wanted to send me a book, Cactus and Succulent Coloring Book that she didn't like. And so she sent me this. You guys, I love color by number. This, I guess she doesn't like the lines in between. That doesn't bother me, so. Yes, thank you so much, Sharonda, for the book. Next, I received happy mail from one of my subscribers reached out to me, and I don't wanna give her last name, so I'll just say her first name, Teresa, because I didn't get permission. Uh, Teresa sent me uh, this, and she goes, enjoy your gift. I learned so much from you and your, from you and your techniques. So she wanted to say thank you. And so she sent me Mandala Mystery um, Coloring Book by Coloria. And this is the uh, one that has the actual palette down here when you're doing your mandala. So you don't have to think about the colors. They've already selected. And you just add it to the page. They even tell you it's a color by number. So you number five, you fill it in just like color by number. If you don't, if you don't want to do that, you can just use a color palette and do it your own way. So this is really nice. I cannot wait to color a page in this. But of course I wanted to say thank you first before I got into it. Thank you so much, Teresa. You are very nice. You didn't have to, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, next I'm gonna get into some <laughs> craziness. I have a bag here from Pop Shelf. Not everything in here is from Pop Shelf. 
So I'm just gonna be pulling things out and I'll tell you where those <laughs> items are from. I'm gonna try to keep them together though for the most part. All right, so I picked up this. I didn't realize that the Dollar Tree now has uh, dotted pages or dotted notebooks. Um, so for like um, doing, you know, your own, setting up your own page, you can use these for anything you want. So the dotted journal. So I was like, yes, they have it. It's so pretty. Hello Beautiful. It has 120 pages. And so, yes, I was like, I could use this for something. I don't know just quite yet what I'm gonna use it for, but I thought this was so pretty. It's got it's got pink on it and it's dotted, so I wanted to pick that up from the Dollar Tree. All right, the next items I picked up from the Dollar Tree are these magnetic bookmarks. I'm on the hunt for these at the Dollar Tree because I'm gonna be moving from those paper, um, the paper tags that I use for my finished color pages to these magnetic um, bookmarks because I want to I don't want to use all that paper it's a waste so these are reusable and so you get four in a pack and they're so cute they are pink and I love it so I got four packs of those I then found some um, glass magnets at the Dollar Tree and this side is glass, the underside is magnet, and I'm gonna actually transform these into cover minders. So um, I, I have a plan for this. <laughs> so I'm gonna make these into cover minders. Um, this one was from the Dollar Tree, and then I found this one, so pretty. I found this one at Pop Shelf. So I have two, I have eight now. So that should be enough for me to make some cover minders with. All right, next, I was at the Dollar Tree and I picked up these Zen Zebra Zensations. These are the mechanical colored pencils. I picked up orange, lilac, and yellow. They were $1.25 each at the Dollar Tree. These are the only three colors I wanted to get from there. All right, next, I was over at Hobby Lobby and I found some cute stickers on clearance. I like these. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. Probably in a Christmas book. I'm not really sure yet. But they were only a dollar marked down from $3.99. Then I saw more of these beautiful Faber Castell pit artist pins in the box. I was like, what? They're still in there? But guys, guess what? These were marked down to 44 cents. 44 cents. I couldn't believe it. I was like, that is really cheap because these markers are typically like almost $5. So that was a huge discount. I guess they just wanted to get rid of them. There were only a few left. I just took these colors here. I got light yellow glaze. Uh, this one is cadmium yellow. And then two leaf greens because I do use a lot of greens and I figured um, I could get use those. Um, these stickers are bothering me. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so I got those at Hobby Lobby. Now the remaining items in my bag are all from Pop Shelf. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from Pop Shelf. Okay, the first item I'm going to show you is this Duraclear Galaxy Varnish, Glitter Varnish. You can use this on paper crafts, um, on wooden, any kind of project. And I was like, that's pretty cool. And it has like a glittery, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like glitter in there. Um, let me see if I can open it. Yeah, see how it's white, but it dries on clear. So I'm gonna try that. This is by Deco Art. This was a dollar, I think two dollars. Next, I picked up some Galaxy Glitter by Deco Art. I picked up Clear Ice Comet. Isn't that pretty? This was a dollar. I picked up the uh, gold shooting star I got these with the um, I don't think I have these colors I will double check but for Christmas coloring books this is why I picked up these colors these are heavily loaded glitter acrylic paints look at that this one almost has like a pink mixed in with it this one's called red nebula and the last one I picked up was a uh, silver moon and it has like blue, flecks of blue, gold, green. It's really pretty. I was like, wow, I'm gonna try that. 
I love glitter. Next, I picked up some ze zebra sensations. Now, I showed you guys the ones I got from the Dollar Tree. I got those colors from the Dollar Tree because they didn't have those colors at Pop Shelf. So I picked up a uh, green, this is a pink, red, black, brown, and a blue, but they were only a dollar each at Pop Shelf. So, you know, if I would have bought all of those at the, <laughs> at the Dollar Tree and went to Pop Shelf, I would have been upset uh, because they were only a dollar at Pop Shelf as opposed to a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna try these. They, I heard good things about these. Um, so I wanted to try these mechanical color pencils because I don't have any mechanical color pencils. So I said, let me try those. These would be good to take on a trip, right? So I got those. Then I picked up three of these Le Pen drawing. I did uh, 0.8 and 2.5s. The other two are for my son and my husband because we're trying to do um, <laughs> Inktober together. So this is mine. So I have the 0.8 tip on mine. I like the bigger tip, so pick that up. This was a dollar, or no, two dollars at Pop Shelf. And last, but certainly not least, from Pop Shelf, I picked up Sparkle Pops, yes! These are the colors that I really needed. <laughs> um, I decided to go ahead and grab more than one of each because these are the colors I use a lot. Sparkle Pops are some of my favorite um, gel pens. These are cheaper at Pop Shelf than they are online. Um, from Dick Blick or anywhere else I've seen. Uh, they're, I think they're about $2 each at Pop Shelf. So I'm so happy they have these, but they don't have all the colors. But these colors, that's fine. I, I, they have silver and they have this pink one, green, blue. They do not have black, at least I haven't seen it, or orange. So those ones I will have to probably order from another uh, website in order to get them. But yes, I got my Sparkle Pops. And that was it for, for art supplies. Now I'm gonna go on to the books. All right, next up I'm going to share with you some coloring books I picked up from um, secondhand um, online uh, from Thrift Books and a place called Powell's Powell's.com. So the first book I picked up was Charlie Harper's um, Coloring Book Volume 1. I didn't want to buy it new because I didn't know if I was going to like it, so I bought it secondhand. This copy was actually um, <laughs> a kid really went went in in this book. Uh, so I had to actually take out about five or about five pages. But the other ones were fine. So I'm happy the five pages were okay to be taken out. I just want to color some of these. So basically, I'm sorry, this is Charlie Harper Volume 1. And I think it's a great book. It's very simple. I love his art style. Um, so this is going to have a lot of animals, like birds, dogs, stuff like that. So yes, yeah, so that is Charlie Harper Volume 1. Then I picked up Impressionist Masterpieces from the uh, the Musée d'Orsay coloring book. This is um, a pomegranate coloring book. I love pomegranate coloring books because their paper is of great quality. This one also secondhand. So these are just some um, impressionist. So it tells you the name of the artist and the name of the actual piece. This one here, Vincent Van Gogh, Van Gogh's bedroom at Arles. So I like stuff like this. Look at this one, the cradle. So I like that I can actually look these up and get inspiration. If I wanna do like a, a dupe, like copy it, I could do that. These ones are really fun. I love stuff like this, art. That is Impressionist Masterpieces and this is secondhand from uh, Thrift Books. And this is um, a pomegranate coloring book. Next, I can't remember if this one was from, yes. This is the next one I picked up at Thrift Books. This is an oldie but goodie. And I had never gotten this book series. Sorry about that, y'all. It's called Art Therapy Celtic or Celtic. I don't know how you say that. 100 Designs. And um, this is secondhand as well. And I was always interested in 
trying one of these books. The paper is pretty okay. Um, it's pretty thick for, you know, this type of book. Um, I'm not really into these pictures, but these ones here, there's some really good pictures in here like this. Um, the wallpaper, you know, I could love it or hate it. I mean, but I love these images in here. Very cool. So I was super shocked to find this because I understand that this, this is hard to find right now. And so I was really, really happy to finally find a copy for myself. Uh, look at these images. Very nice images. Um, but yes, so that is Art Therapies Celtic or Celtic, I don't know. 100 Designs, Coloring in and Relaxation. And I think this is a Hashit Heroes, a Hashay book, I think. Let me double check, I don't wanna say that wrong. Yes, Hashay printed in the US. All right, the next book that I picked up, again, looking for these oldies but goodies, was Art Therapy Aztecs and Mayas 100 Designs. This one I picked up from a, a website called Powell's. It is an online, uh, but they do have a store, Powell's, where they sell used books, and theirs come in such great condition. I was pretty impressed with the condition of this book. Um, but it, this is another one that I just felt like I wanted to have in my collection because I started in the coloring game a long time ago and I wanted to have some of these older books that are hard to find. You get some, you know, wallpaperish designs, but some of these designs in here are just gorgeous. Let me find one. Look at that. I love that. Look at these. Just beautiful. I love the artwork in here. Those patterns are not so bad. Let's see if I can find another another nice one. Look at this. Isn't it nice? And the paper is pretty decent. So yeah, it's very excited now that I have two. Um, I'm not interested in the other ones. These were the only two I was interested in. So I'm glad to have these in my stash now. Yes. And they are hard, um, considered hard back books because uh, the cover is hard. All right, next up we have Art with Edge Ridiculousness. Uh, I found this at Dollar General. I don't know if you have that stored. It was, uh, I think, $3, $3 or $5. But I thought it was cute. There's some really cute images in here. Squirreling it away, buzzkill, <laughs> dinner is served. Really cute, sugared petals. Pizza with everything. <laughs> Say cheese. This is really cute. So art with edge, ridiculousness, and it's all bound. It's not the loose ones. And I don't care for those ones where the pages are loose. I also picked up Home for the Holidays. This is a new release by Teresa Goodridge. It's another um, coloring book for Christmas. Beautiful images as always. Teresa Goodridge never fails me. Love her stuff. And what I like about this one is that there's not a lot of stuff going on in the backgrounds. Um, where the one I'm working on now is kind of throwing me off with those. But I love this book. Home for the Holidays. Next I picked up Lila Atbarg Florin Mahler book by Maria Trolle and Emma Larson. This one um, doesn't, it's not, it's a thin book. It's thinner. First of all, I got this from Book Depository, and it's more simple pages to color, except for that one. <laughs> um, but I like it. It's very simple, and I like that about this book. Single-sided, too, so you can use markers. So that is Leela Atbarg Floran by Maria Trolle and Emma Larson. Then I was out and about and I saw this Love is Like a Rainbow Just Add Water. I love these Just Add Water books for some reason. I think it's a childhood thing. I love just taking a, and adding water and they have those for kids back in the day. So I picked this one up and it's going to be like every page is like that. So I just take a water brush and move those colors all around. So I'm so excited to do this. 
very cute, very fun. It comes with a paintbrush. I'm not gonna use that. It says, wet me with the water and the brush supplied and watch the colors emerge. Color me with pencils, pens, or markers. So you can use both pens, pencils, markers, and uh, watercolor. This is so nice, yes, I'm so excited about that book. All right, next I picked up, yes, my Reese Dirk Asian by Rita Berman. This book was like sold out for a minute. I have not done a flip through on my channel. Let me zoom in a bit. So I might do one. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of them out there, but sometimes I just like to do it on my own channel as well. But these images are beautiful. Gosh, you guys, her art style is the most amazing. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Mine Reese Dirk Asian. Next, I picked up uh, Christ, Crystal Vogel's Osma Larice. Osma Larice. I'll pop up what that means on the screen. But this book is really, really cute, guys. Look at this book. Look at this. It is so cute. Kind of reminds me of um, Clara Markova a little bit. Oh, so cute. I had to have this one. I didn't have to, but I wanted it. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? I love it. It's cute. I'm gonna flip this one as well on my channel. But this is um, Crystal Vogel's Osmal Rice by Top. Next, I picked up Manga Glow in the Dark Coloring Book, illustrated by Juan and Santiago Calle. And this book is gorgeous. Now, I had seen this on some other folks' channel, and I was like, oh, I don't know. But then when I went to the store and actually looked at this book, I was like, this book is amazing. The artwork is absolutely amazing in here. I was like, why would you not get this? This has gorgeous artwork. And that's my thing. I love unique stuff, and I love the way this is. It has glow in the dark. Here, you see, this is glow in the dark. I guess you're not supposed to color over that. <clears throat> but this book is just nice. Look at this. I love it. It's so cute. So that is Manga Glow in the Dark Coloring Book by Juan and Santiago Calle. And of course, it's a Thunder Bay Press. Thunder Bay Press book, y'all. They're my one of my favorite um, publishers as well. And then, you guys, I picked up Chris Reiniak's Morning Scribbles Halloween Coloring Book. And this one I've already done a flip on my channel. You can check that out. This is so cute. Has the cutest Halloween pictures, some in grayscale, some not in grayscale. As you can see, thick paper, you get 50 images. Very cute. So that one is Halloween Coloring Book by Morning Scribbles. I mean, by Chris Reiniak's Morning Scribbles. I also picked up, <laughs> I said, oh no, I, I, I have to print this out. I picked this up as well and I just printed it out. But I picked up his Morning Scribbles digital book, Frogs and Friends edition. And this is so cute, y'all. <laughs> These little frogs in the picture, like here. This is so cute, the bunny. Very cute, I love his art style. This is a very cute book. So that one is uh, the Frogs and Friends. I haven't put it in the sleeves yet, but Frogs and Friends edition, um, Chris Reiniak again. Next, I picked up some other PDFs because Jane F. Hankins was having this huge sale on her website. I was like, what the what? <laughs> I don't have any of her stuff. I have one book that someone um, printed and sent to me, it was Glorious Hats and I love it. And I've colored an image in that book. So I will show you, I'll pop up on the screen what PDF books I have picked up. I have not yet printed those. I think there was like five or six of them. So I'll pop those up right here. And then she had physical books on sale. So these are the ones that I was able to pick up. Some of them were already, uh, 
out, you know, out of stock or sold out. So I picked up the Imaginary Garden. So this is a nine by 12, 25 prints. And this is on premium grade paper, spiral bound, perforated for easy removal. And I'll just show you guys a few because I'm gonna do full flips on my channel just because um, I was able to get these. I'm super excited. I'm not sure why she did that big 70% off sale. So these books were 70% off, like hardly nothing. Um, and they were normally like 20 and up. So yes, I think I made out like a bandit on this one. <laughs> On this deal here so that's the imaginary garden then I picked up the imaginary forest and I'll show y'all a few pictures in here same 9 by 12 her artwork is very unique if you see it you know it's her you won't mistake it for anyone else which is cool you have some in landscape. So this is a really nice book. So that one, and that's Jeff Jane Hankins right there. And this is the Imaginary Forest. Again, very nice. And then um, the next four are the 11 by 14 size because of course the ones I wanted were not available, <laughs> the smaller size. So I went ahead and picked up the bigger size. So I have to zoom out a little bit. This one is Imaginary World Volume 2. I'll show you a few images in here. I'm thinking watercolors, um, markers, just to make these pop, because the images are so quirky. Very, very cute. I'm just gonna show you a few because I'm gonna flip this on my channel. And that is Imaginary World Volume 2. Then Extraordinary Magical Friends. Hope you guys can see them in the frame or not. This one here. This one is so weird, but cute. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this would be so nice in watercolors. I really want to do that. All right, so that is Extraordinary Magical Friends. Next, I have a book of angels. Look at that, so pretty. We got puppy angels. These would be very nice with paint, even paint, you know? Very nice. So that's a book of angels. And last, but certainly not least in my haul is Friends from My Imaginary World. Again, it's 11 by 14, 30 pages. And I'll show you guys a few of those. Look at these flowers. I think they're so cute. So cute, so weird. It's weird cute, right? I love weird cute. <laughs> weird cute. <laughs> and I'll show one more. All right, and that is Friends from My Imaginary World by Jane F. Hankins. So that is it, y'all, for my haul and my happy mail and my gifts. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please consider clicking the subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of the beautiful people family. But until next time, y'all, take care.